game. Ernie, yesterday, a double-double in her performance against Florida. How has she gotten herself going? Well, she got on, on the offensive glass, and she's everybody's All-American. That game, she showed everybody that she's back in the game. Kunain, the senior, always a player to watch. And for Towson, Aliyah Nelson, the junior guard, 39 points against Florida to start this tournament. What a dynamic scoring presence. Man, she's Russell Westbrook type numbers. 23, 8, and 8. She's been balling in this tournament. Carla Fountaine with our lead official to tip it off. And NC State in the alternate grays gets the basketball to begin things here in Reynolds. First matchup since 2013 14. And Kunain wastes no time with an easy layup. And there she is. Got position and powered that up. So Ernie in those first two games struggled offensively. How has she found her confidence in the last three nights? Uh, they've just been giving her the ball. I just think they coaches have has established her in the post, and they've been focused on getting her to rock. Ali Kubek off on the three. She scored 25 yesterday in a win over Wofford, and a jump ball keeps possession here. That starting five averages 75 points. It's a starter-heavy <laughs> lineup. Remember, top scoring threat, Rain Tucker off the bench for Diane Richardson. Mm -hmm. She's out for the next eight days recovering from an ACL injury. That's a huge addition for Towson next week. Oh, yes. When she comes back, they're going to have another offensive threat. Nelson's been a big threat herself. 39 points on Friday. Comes up way short on the three. And Kayla Jones, nice bounce pass ahead to Crutchfield, who gets the foul, and in one. Nice push by KJ, and that's the her ability to push the ball from the four spot. Nice bounce pass to Crutchfield for the nice lay-in. Ty Crutchfield playing her 120th career game tonight. And the guard completes the three-point play. What an ideal start for NC State. 5 nothing, in a matchup of two teams that are undefeated in this tournament, both with dominant victories over Wofford and Florida. Nelson, not only the best scorer, the best assist maker in the Colonial this year. Eight assists a game, number four in the black, always a threat. And here she sits up top with a shot clock at 10. Well, Black is playing a tough man-to-man. -man. Nelson with five, gets the switch on Perez. And floats it short. That was affected by the NC State defense. There's the presence of Kunain down low. Yeah, when she saw Kunain stepping up, it affected her shot. Kunain challenged by her coach, Wes Moore, to be more assertive on both ends of the ball. We've seen a layup early, and now an affected shot in the first two minutes. Yeah, she's, uh, she's focused. She's locked in. NC State needs the All-American to play at her best with the ACC Big Ten Challenge coming up in two weeks. As Kunain, with some contact, goes into Quebec. And that's an early foul on the Towson Post presence. Yeah, I don't think they got anybody down there that can uh, guard Kunain in this game tonight. Quebec's such a strong offensive presence. The sophomore from Elkton, Maryland here with a foul. Here's a nice pass in to Kunain. She wants that back. She said that should have been an M1. Kunain made about everything she shot yesterday. 7 to 10 from the field in the win over Florida. And Ernie in that 30-point victory for NC State. Westmore was about as happy as any coach <laughs> in the country with his yeah. post-game comments. Yes, and uh, I, that's the happiest I've seen him after a game since I've been doing these games. <laughs> he also earned his 750th career win hey, in that performance as a head coach. That's a good reason to be happy as well. He's one of the top coaches in the game today. Out to Nelson, who's been lights out to start this tournament. Anissa Rivera, the NC Central transfer, playing back in the Raleigh area. Finds a shooter in Terriana Gary. And another air ball for Towson early in this game, Ernie. That's five shots and three haven't even touched net. Well, that's the defense that NC State is applying. They're applying the pr pressure on the perimeter. So Reina Perez walks it up the floor. The graduate senior leading this point. Only averaging five points in this tournament, but her assist making has picked up. Really setting up her offense. Yeah, she's one of the best point guards in the country. On cue, Kunain on a great dime is blocked by Quebec. Good defense from Towson. They love to run. Diane Richardson in year five wants the pace and the flow of this offense to move very quickly. Yeah, the Wolfpack gets back on defense very quickly. So they're going to have to get a majority of their points in the set offense. Nice drive by Evans who comes up short, getting the start in replace of the injured Rain Tucker, who will be back next Tuesday from an ACL injury. Kunain on the circle, bit short. She's getting the uh, position. She's just not finishing. 
Nelson pops a free throw jumper. A nice start. Boy, Valia Nelson gets hot. What a dangerous <laughs> score at 23 points a night. Yeah, she's a, she looks good on that nice pull-up jumper right there from the free throw line. They call her Bean around the program, and she is nothing but net in this tournament. Shooting 70% as Kunane forced up a shot. Kunane is rushing her shots tonight. Nelson kicks to Rivera. She can pop from three-point range. Just rattles out. And a rebound for Jakia Brown-Turner. NC State defeated Florida by 32 yesterday. Won the battle on the glass, plus 15. Such a huge factor for Westmore's club. Also in that game, 11 three-point makes. And we have a foul away from the ball. Three early fouls for Towson. Kubek was, had a little hands-on on Kunane, put, trying to push out a position. Diane Richardson, interesting enough, she's a big hugger with her players, loves to embrace <laughs> her players. And she said, this trip has been so great to find the bond and camaraderie four days in Raleigh and a chance for her team not only to play well, but really grow as a unit as Jakia Brown-Turner makes the lay. Nice pass, inbounds pass by Perez. Ernie, as a former player here at NC State, what is the value of spending quality time with a team on a road and really building that camaraderie early in the season? Uh, it, it, it means a whole lot. I mean, when we won a national championship. All of our players, we, we hung out with each other. We, hung, we, we loved each other, and that's what you need. NC State loves this team. start as Gary saves it and able to throw it back to Nelson. Terriana Gary, guard has been fantastic, finds Rivera. And Towson, one think, of eight from the field. Yeah, they're, they're kind of rushing their shots. They're not getting the shots in their offense. Pace and space are the key words for Diane Richardson here in your five. The former West Virginia associate head coach. And Jones is fouled underneath as an offensive foul, in fact. It's a turnover for NC State. KJ had position. I don't know. I didn't see that foul. I guess here we go. She's just runner. She just has position. That little arm oh. bar possibly there? Oh, yeah, a little hook, but. That is a point of emphasis in women's college basketball this year, the offensive player initiating contact. Yeah, but that wasn't an aggressive forearm move. Speaking of aggressive, Rivera into the body of Jones and goes to the free throw line where Rivera has been fantastic at the charity strike, 75% as a forward for Townsend. Yeah, she can really stroke the free throws. Uh, she's a transfer from UNC. These friends is a player of the year. In the conference. So Rivera, who was the MIAC player of the year this past spring. What a nice addition. Grew up at 10 years old, played for Diana in the AAU ball. That's how they found Rivera from NC Central. All of a sudden, 14 points a game and a nice third score behind Nelson. Oh, yeah. And they call Richardson the queen of the DMV. And I'm not talking about the Department of Motor Vehicles. <laughs> it's the... Uh, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia area. They love her in that area. She's established in that area in recruiting. Everybody loves her in the DMV. Jakia Brown-Turner with a great shot pick and sets up a three. She has the best left-hand stroke in college basketball. That's her game. She also was an All-American last season as Rivera comes up short. Nice offensive board for Ryan Evans. This Towson club only runs seven to eight players deep with two major injuries at the start of the year. Tucker's out for the next week. And Wilson recovering back the true freshman. So some cogs returning for Towson. Nelson carries the load tonight and comes up strong. It's last touched by the Tigers. See, they can. So NC State leads by eight. We'll have more after this. Nelson is one for four. They make it out. Well, welcome back to Reynolds Coliseum here for the preseason women's NIT. NC State, the whole team leading Towson right now. 12-4. Westmore's team playing its fourth home game here to start this season in just seven days. It's a sellout this season for the Pac women's basketball team. The Westmore says that's nothing new for this program. He points even back to pre-pandemic times when he says, that 2019-2020 season. He says the things that matter the most to us this season is making sure that we give this home crowd a W every time they're here. Well, Marilyn, good evening. And certainly, to, to her point, 
NC State, that home loss to South Carolina early in the year. Some nice adjustments the last two games as Jakea Brown-Turner travels. What have they shown the fans the last three home games? <laughs> they showed them a lot. I mean, they, they, they've won these last three, uh, last two games, actually. And uh, they've been uh, getting up and down the court and giving the fans something to cheer about. Westmore said there's no greater marketing of a program than winning basketball games to Maryland's point. And here at home, they're averaging 85 points a night. That offense has clicked in the first quarter, led by five from Brown Turner. Our first look at Sky Williams, the backup point guard. Checks in, the senior from Indianapolis. Nelson just one of four shooting today, marked up by Diamond Johnson. Diamond Johnson's playing defense. There's a steal for Hayes Johnson. Gonna push. Johnson up nice ahead. Pass. And with contact, Madison Hayes goes to the free throw line. All starts with the defense, though, Ernie. Yeah, that's, that's what's going to win this game today, defense. And Diamond Johnson on the push. Fourth team foul for Towson early in this game. Remember, not a team very deep in the bench. Sort of a diamond in the rough for this program is Diamond Johnson, the transfer from Rutgers. Starting to find her, her camaraderie and her rhythm with this club. Yeah, I mean, she's really is a blessing in practice. Um, they love her. Uh, she's one of the top point guards in the country. And she's coming off the bench. <laughs> all she did was finish second team all Big Ten <laughs> in the spring, join a new club as one of three transfers. She's on the watch list. Her and Perez. One of five players for NC State on the national watch list. It's a talented team, but certainly to Wes's point, they have to perform well too. Can't just be about the numbers. As Rivera finishes strong on the floater. Towson now one of 11 shooting. And that's Madison Hayes. She plays hard. Ooh, Johnson. Great floater. She's a great scorer. How dynamic of a team does Wes Moore have when Johnson's the best guard off the bench <laughs> here in the second, first quarter? And she's one of the best point guards in the country. So when you can have her come in for Perez, you're not losing too much. Rivera comes up strong on the three. She played in this building last year for NC Central, had 16 points. However, Townsend looking for major points, down 16-4 in the first. Johnson, great crossover, gets to her spot and misses the teardrop. Her own rebound. She's got that Philly herky-jerky game. Crutchfield, there you go. Crutchfield with the three. Timeout, Towson, NC State, 11 three-pointers the last two nights. They hit their first two here. Wolfpack lead by 15. A 10 0 run for NC State, capped off by the three pointer from Crutchfield. Here's, Cr Here's Crutchfield, nice dish to Kai. She was hot yesterday. She had four three pointers in yesterday's game in against fact, Florida. Crutchfield, knock on wood here, eight of her last eight from the field. So efficient as Williams floats up a beauty, comes up short. Nice rebound, and with the foul, that's Nari Dodson. Checking in, the senior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Size is affecting Towson in this game right now. Nari Dodson, the transfer from Bossier Parish Community College. This is her first year. And Camille Hobby, speaking of new players to the program, the junior checks in. Kunain, a quick breather in this first quarter. Very efficient. Opening frame for Kunane. Four points, a couple of blocks. Mm -hmm. This is where Towson has dominated in the last two games at the free throw line. In fact, in the first two games of this tournament, Towson's been to the line 47 times. <laughs> That's a lot. Including 25 made free throws against Florida. On yeah, Florida. yeah. Well, you won't see them at the free throw line like this. In a lot this game. State doesn't foul a lot. They play a lot of position defense. 
That defense has held Towson to one of 13 shooting. Meanwhile, offensively, the Wolfpack are six of 10. Crutch killed around the pick and an illegal screen on Hobby. Nicely drawn by Sky Williams. Yeah, Hobby kind of stuck her leg out on that play. Yeah, you're being generous. She threw the hip <laughs> there a little bit. Yeah, she gave it a little hip check <laughs> on, the, on the screen. Alongside former NC State National Champion Ernie Myers. Evan Budgerbich with you tonight from Raleigh. This is the final game of the opening weekend uh -huh. of the women's NIT. NC State will face Kansas State next Friday in this building. Or sorry, this upcoming Friday. The weeks all blend together early. Johnson gets the rebound. Ooh, keeps it herself and goes to the free throw line, but she traveled. She was on the move in that play. Uh, here she goes right here. Diamond on the push. One, with two, the fake. three. Oop, yep, there's your third step. <laughs> Love the creativity. She wish she could have that one back. From Diamond Johnson. She's a Philly product, and they have a you know, city game. She was the... Uh, First woman to play in that uh, Allen Iverson All-Star game. Townsend needs to find some offense. One of 14 shooting. So Gary comes up out on the three. Townsend 0 of 8 from downtown. They enter this game hitting nine threes a contest. Well, these threes are being contested in this game. Brown Turner, high ball dribble, finds Hayes. NC State, four assists on six made baskets. Johnson says, who needs the pass when I can hit the three? And that's her shot. She's a three-point shooter. She shot 40% from three-point range last year at Rutgers. Make it look easy from downtown. Johnson, five points off the bench. And Nelson still looking to get on the scoreboard. She comes up a bit limp on that right ankle. NC State in transition. Good kick out to Crutchfield. And a miss from three-point land. Waiting for the officials to blow this dead with Nelson. Nelson, she's slow to get up, holding that right knee. Athletic trainer Aaron Thomas taking a look. This is the last thing you want to see with a talented player, Aaliyah Nelson, going down here in this first quarter. Yeah, she looks like she's in a lot of pain. Towson team that has played 10 tonight, 10 different players. That's the most they've done in any game this season. Now might be without their top scorer, Leah Nelson, at least for the rest of this quarter, if not the rest of the game. I'm, I'm hoping she's able to get up and shake it off. What adjustments can Diane Richardson and Zach Cantor and the staff accomplish as this game moves forward? Because clearly NC State's defense has been up to the challenge. No, oh, absolutely, and, and, and that's what Coach Moore – preaches in practice position defense without filing um, he can stop one player <laughs> definitely in a game so the supporting cast gonna have to step up so if you are that game. supporting cast at Towson outside of Nelson just one of five shooting we got to find some production and, and we'll check out this injury here for Nelson who, who continues to be traded by the training staff here it is right here on the nice drive she came down on Diamond's foot and twisted her knee. She can't put any pressure on that. It doesn't look good at all. Diane Richardson, when speaking about Aaliyah, said she didn't know she had that many points in her, but what a leader she's developed into this year. And that's the last thing you want to see is an injury to a star player. Yeah, I'm hoping that it's, it's nothing serious. Um. It's a big test for Towson, already down 17, and without their best player for at least this quarter, if not more. So now it shifts onto the shoulders of Sky Williams, the new point guard in. Williams had a good cutter, and Dodson sticks it up to Rivera, who cannot knock down the three. Yeah, she's she's continuing to take it. So a foul the other way, and Ernie, you couldn't see it on a game cam, but the entire Towson staff clapping for Rivera, wanting her to take that shot. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not going down, they have confidence in the NC Central transfer. Yeah, I mean, she's she's a great player, uh, but sometimes when the shot's not falling, uh, you got to go to the basket, get to the free throw line, 
to get your game going. You know, get fouled, get to the free throw line, and maybe, you know, your shot will come back. There's Reina Perez at the line for two. Makes the first. Here's Saturday's college football lineup on ACC Network in the ESPN app. The New Eastern coming off their exciting win against in-state rival Miami. Florida State takes on Phil Dracovich in eligible Boston College. And NC State looks to bounce back after a tough loss to Wake when they host Syracuse, who's looking to get bowl eligible with a win. The day is capped off by two more teams looking to make the bowl games, Virginia Tech and Miami, both at 5-5. Five and five. Busy day for college football on Saturday. Madison Hayes putting on her post moves. Ooh, that's pretty with a fadeaway, and Rivera gets her hand on it. Yeah, Rivera played great defense. And then Johnson says, I'm taking that right back with a baseball pass to Rivera. Oh. Oh, and Rivera goes into the band. Watch out. Rivera plays hard. That'll stay here for NC State. How about the effort from Anissa Rivera? Yeah, she got back on that. Almost saved it inbound. Speaking of football, Ernie Myers, Anissa Rivera not afraid of some contact. <laughs> nah, she's going, she's going all out. Follows that pulling guard through the hole. Yeah, makes she, a hit. She looks, she looked like a corner on that. So the Wolfpack can hold for the final shot. It's a 15 to one run to end this first quarter. NC State searching for a third straight win and a perfect start in the WNIT. Johnson pops the jumper and the hot start continues. Johnson. Is shining bright. Towson lost track of the clock, so that ends the first quarter. Diamond Johnson off the bench with seven early points, and the Wolfpack storm out to a hot start. 17 to one run to end the opening frame. So the scoring pressure mounts to sophomore Ali Kubek. Scored 25 in her last game. The Delaware Gatorade Player of the Year. How does she carry the load here tonight? Well, she has to get the ball because she's an inside player. So the, the guards have to get her the ball. Towson's had distribution, but no shot making in that first quarter. NC State, no problem. A 17 to 1 run to end the first. And Javi continues that stretch. Javi is a low post ball player. Nice drop step. Jump hook. Ernie, we saw on Friday night against Wofford for NC State, a slow start shooting the basketball. Well, here in this game, at 60%, how have they come out so electric on this Monday night? Well, they're just getting shots in the right position. They're not forcing any shots. They're getting a lot of shots on the break. Diamond is pulling up from everywhere, knocking shots down. <laughs> Big smile there from Madison Hayes, the Mississippi State transfer. Here's where the impact players for NC State start to flex their muscle in this second quarter. And they're taking what the defense is giving them. They're not rushing anything. All the shots that they're taking There's are in the floor of the offense. For Hayes, Wolfpack have forced four turnovers in the first frame. Brown Turner on the attack. Look at that position for Hobby. And in the lobby, she drops it in. Hobby. That's her game right there. She has great footwork. Nice turnaround jump shot by Hobby. Scored six points against Florida yesterday and a good jumper to get her night going. Quebec, haven't seen much of her offensively, just one shot. Tough floater for Williams. And the Towson yeah. shooting woes at one of 19. All the shots that they are taking are contested. Meanwhile, easy shots for NC State. That's Jakia Brown Turner. Nice look by Diamond. No look pass. So Diamond Johnson, a measly seven points, three rebounds, and two assists. <laughs> and we're 12 minutes into this game. Diamond is shining bright in the arena tonight. There's Johnson trying to save the basketball, but it goes out of play. Great work by our camera operator down there. She was moving and grooving to get out of the way. <laughs> Excellent work. Great fully ball player. And there's a, another great fully Philly. We'll take a timeout here. NC State rolling early in the second quarter. Welcome back to Raleigh. For more on Diamond Johnson, we say hi to Marilyn Payne. Well, Diamond Johnson co-leading NC State with seven points. 
gets the three rebounds and a beautiful no-look assist to this point. The sophomore transfer from Rutgers is a player that Westmore says he continues to hope will work in and stay comfortable with the Wolfpack. He didn't like her game versus South Carolina, but scoring 10 and 9 in the two games coming into this. Certainly her presence, Ernie, in this game has been huge. Seven points off the bench. Westmore mentioning to Maryland's point, trying to find her cohesiveness with this roster. It seems tonight she's found her perfect role. Yeah, yeah, you know, coming off the bench, it's tough for a player like her when she starred at the previous school at Rutgers, averaging 17 points. Uh, but she's coming, she came here to be on the big stage. So, you, you know, you got to be a part of a team. And it's a lot of great players on this team, so she's going to have to find a way to fit in. That was the first three of the night for Towson. And Missa Rivera heats up. She was 0 for 6 to start this game. Johnson on cue for three. Oop, bit off. One of the rare times she hasn't looked locked in in this first half. Yeah. Gary with a long three. Towson really struggling from deep, but an offensive rebound scooped up by Quinzia Fulmore and almost has a Diamond second. A rebound. Look at Diamond shining bright <laughs> among the six-footers. Yeah, 5-5, five, five, and she's in there getting the rebound and pushing it. Reina Perez looking to operate. Not called her name much tonight. Only one shot. Look at Johnson. This is, ooh, look at this. Yes. Look at that. There it is. Head fakes, ball fakes. That's that Philly game. That's that Philly street game right there. Head and shoulder fakes. Nice pull-up jump jump. Had her, jumper. Had her defender, Sky Williams, on skates. <laughs> Nearly double figures in this first half alone for Johnson. Sitting with nine. And call for the hand touch foul. Westmore, not a happy camper. Here's Diamond Johnson with the head and shoulder fake. Head and shoulder fake. Here you go. Step back. Bang. So, Ernie, that's putting the defender on, on the strings, right, on skates. <laughs> yeah, she had her ro rocking and rolling. Diamond Johnson, only a sophomore, scored 17 points a game last year. If she becomes the sixth man, seventh option for NC State, how does that make Westmore's team even better? I mean, <laughs> they got so many players that can come in. Um, you haven't seen uh, Genesis Bryant and, uh, and Timmons. There's so many ball players on this ball club, but uh, she's doing her thing today. And, and don't she's forget be about an integral part of the team. Don't forget about Reina Perez with the steal. Reina Perez is a pro. And she stayed as for six turnovers, leading to an and one for guess who? This is Diamond's breakout game. It looks like. Double figures for Johnson and no answers for Towson's defense. Here she going to shake and bake, crossover. You can't guard me. There she goes. Well, with that free throw, she's a 90% free throw shooter. NC State season high for Johnson. We'll say that number a bunch throughout the season. New season highs for the first year transfer. Yeah, she's a tough Philly ball player. We had one back in the day. Her numbers up in the rafters. Uh, Linda Hawkeye Whitney, uh, Hawkeye Page. Where do you get the nickname Hawkeye from? She should shoot the ball. She could shoot the ball like, like nobody you ever seen. Main um, good floater, a bit strong. Johnson almost had the rebound there. Yeah, she scored 100 points in a high school game and was. Uh, so the Will Chamberlain factor. Oh, yeah, she did. Uh, Linda Page, rest in peace. Her number sits in the rafters here at PNC, or, or sorry, at Reynolds Coliseum. Of course, your number sits at PNC Arena across the street. There's a long three, and Dodson not even close off the backboard. NC State leaning on its bench tonight, 20 bench points. Kunane, the All-American, goes to work. Yeah, they have nobody down there that can stop her. We mentioned in the opener already the importance of offense and scoring the basketball. However, for Towson, just two of 25 shooting. Free throws now for Ryan Evans. How do the Tigers find some chemistry offensively without Aaliyah Nelson? It's going to be very hard. I mean, and, and the size of the NC State ball players and the way they play defense and contest shots, it's going to be hard for them to get back in this game. Remember, Towson, the first two nights of this tournament, 90 points against Wofford, 85 points against Florida, and for Diane Richardson, She's without her top scorer, Leah Nelson, and, and clearly without a 
ideal start in this first half. No, and, and they're playing against the number five team in the country at home <laughs> with a crowd here. It was going to be difficult anyway, but um, without Nelson, it's going to be extremely hard for them to get back into this game. They're down 32 points, and it's five minutes to go in the second quarter. This is the best start for Towson since 2016. And here's Mariah Wilson, the true freshman, getting her first minutes of the season out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Reina Perez has played a few more games than that. The fifth-year senior brings it up the court. Nice steal by Wilson, and her debut goes coast to coast for the layup. Great right steal. Yeah, she's bringing some energy to the game. Okay, keep the freshman in more. Mariah Wilson, who's her all-time leading high school scorer, 1,830 points at Lancaster Mennonite. Diane Richardson pulling an ace out of her cards. Kunane, she's a well-known commodity and pinks it in. She's hard to guard down there. They, they don't have anybody down there that can guard the All-American. And this and Rivera tried it and collected her second foul. What a mismatch Kunane's been tonight. <laughs> here she is right here with the nice drop step and the M1. Elisa Kunane. Here's Ali Kubek, the All-CAA rookie team member last year. She has big shoes to fill with the injuries to Rain Tucker in the preseason. And Aaliyah Nelson tonight. Meanwhile for Kunane, just crossed 1,400 career points yesterday. Ray Tucker, top scorer for Towson last year, out with an ACL injury. She returns next Tuesday, so plenty of bright spots for the Tigers coming up next week. Yeah, but they still going to need Aaliyah um, or <laughs> moving forward. Oh, no, you're right. I hope, I hope she's, you know. Aaliyah Nelson injured her knee midway through the first quarter. I hope nothing serious. Was helped off the court by her trainer. Great ball movement here to Johnson, who took an extra step. I feel like great players just can get away with that extra traveling step, but not tonight with Carla <laughs> Fontaine on the call. No, no, no. She's quick with that. She has a quick first step. And maybe the ref <laughs> got to get used to that. Irving, I, didn't, I didn't see the walk there. That might be the one thing Westmore has thoughts on after this game. Seven turnovers in the first half for NC State. Yeah. There has to be something to keep it on as Sky Williams <laughs> right. hits the jumper. Towson finally shooting better in this game, 25% in this quarter after making just two shots in the first. Kunane on Kubek, no foul and a basket. Double figures now for Kunane. There's the big smile. 11 points for Elisa. She's moved into 19th at NC State all-time scoring. Has a chance to catch up to Jania Beasley. She would need about 25 points a game to get there, but it is possible if the season stretched out in the postseason play and you name it. Uh, yeah, with all this talent on the team, I don't think she's going to average 25 points a game. Quebec comes up strong, and now the Wolfpack in transition. Perez finds a shooter. This is Timmons for three now. Timmons. Williams recovers. She's the all-time leading scorer, female basketball player in the history of the state of North Carolina. And this is Rivera. The struggles continue. She does draw a foul this time. And after a one for eight start, got bumped by Kunane. Rivera's such a scrappy physical player. It's been tough to see her struggle from the field. Yeah, she's a, a decent defensive player. You know, she plays hard. She gives it all she has. I hope she's okay. Because if she's out, <laughs> there's no way they're getting back in this game. Here she is right here going hard to the basket. Missed the shot here. She is on the follow. Okay, she, she got the elbow to the, the face. Yeah, she got elbowed in the head by Conan. And this is Rivera in 15 games last year for NC Central. Had nine double doubles. Huh. Just incredible numbers. Wilson misses her first shot of her career. And we have a foul on Johnson blocking out. Good effort by Terriana Gary. Or actually, no, it goes the other way. Wait. Okay, no, the call's on Johnson. The crowd disagrees. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> the coach is wondering, where is that coming from? He's giving the ref a piece of his mind. A little PG-13 vernacular there from Westmore. <laughs> Good thing it's muted across the court. 
Nonetheless, Towson has the basketball, and Williams knocks in a three. Williams First three-pointer for the Tigers. They start at 0 of 14. Well, Williams is heating up. It's a second basket from the field on a nice jump shot. Remember, Towson can score 85 points a game. A lot of work to do, but not over just yet. And Wilson called for the hand check. You see Diamond on the handle. She has a superior ball handling skill. You referenced Aaliyah Nelson as a Russell Westbrook type. How do you describe Diamond Johnson's game? Diamond is just, oh, she's just, she has a flair for the game, and she's a, and she's a scorer. Hobby, that's an easy layup. That's so easy. Nearly at a 50-burger here with two minutes to go in the half. Towson without Aaliyah Nelson the rest of this game with a knee injury. Top scorer averaging 25 a night. So Wilson lets it fly. Rivera, There's good Rivera. offensive rebound. Yeah, yeah, she's on the board. And the dump down pass is stolen. Look at Johnson hanging on to the basketball. And give her 14. Tommy Johnson on the push. Johnson with a new career high, at least here at NC State. I'm going to use all my diamond references. Her Diamonds are forever. For Ernie, her career high is arena. 26 at Rutgers. Could she get there tonight? Would, would she play enough minutes to reach 26 points? Yeah, uh, there's, there's another half of basketball left. She can definitely do that. Hobby wants to set up Johnson, who's excelled off the bench. Defensive challenge for Terriana Gary. Now on the switch. Ooh, that's a mismatch for Hobby. Oh, a little fadeaway. That's pretty. That's Hobby's game right there. She practices that all day in practice. So that's She's hard to guard down there. I love Hobby's game. She works hard in practice. After a slow start the first two nights of this tournament, NC State's offense is clicking 66%. Rivera joins the party with her second three. <laughs> and she says, finally, I got one to go down. <laughs> Rivera can score in bunches. She does have seven points, but it feels like she's taken plenty of good looks. Of a foul defensively on Towson here in the lane. A little hand checking. So the true freshman Wilson called for it. What a nice start for Diane Richardson's club. Really shocked the world in college basketball, upsetting Florida in a wire-to-wire -wire victory. And this is a team that was picked third in the Colonial entering the year behind Delaware and James Madison. A lot of potential for this team once the healthy Rain Tucker and Aaliyah Nelson return. Yeah, they're, they're a good mid-major ball club, but they're playing here against the num number five team in the country at home. Shot clock down to 11, and Hobby, her rare miss of the night, just her first. Hobby can make that shot. Towson can hold for the final shot. I don't think they will. And Quebec is blocked. Good offensive board, Gary to Napoleon, who hits it. Napoleon just getting in the game. For Jamie Napoleon, 17 starts last year for Central Connecticut State. Gets her first basket of the tournament. Bryant late in the clock, swings it around to Timmons. That's her shot. Oh. And air balls a three to end the first half. About the only miss for the Wolfpack through the first 20 minutes. 63% shooting, and that goal right there. Diamond Johnson takes control. 14 points. Really doing it all for the Wolfpack in the first 20. She's been in her bag this half, and she's not playing. She's getting back on track. This home crowd for NC State likes what they've seen offensively. And we'll go down to Maryland Payne in just a moment to talk with maybe the happiest man in the building, Wes Morris. His offense is just in no time getting back to that huddle after the interview. <laughs> Earned his 750th win yesterday, and his team. Coach is in shape. <laughs> don't you think the next 20 minutes are going to be lackadaisical for NC State? Oh, no. Every possession, all of these players are playing for time for the next game. Second all-time meeting. NC State rolling here in the second ever matchup. It's been seven years since these teams met. Wolfpack won 69-46 here in Raleigh, back at the J. And Sky Williams comes up strong on the three. Two of 18 shooting from deep for Towson in the first half. Towson is just not getting any fast break points. And they've had clean looks from three-point Rand. Meanwhile, Cunane just eating up space in the post. Intercepted by Kubek. That was a good look by Cunane. 
It's, it's a, hard to handle pass. Well, it's a 30-point game. Can the Tigers get some confidence, cut this to 20, 15, make it interesting in the second half? Remember, they've averaged 85 points a game, has Towson, in the first two games of this tournament. But Noah Leah Nelson, the rest of this game, battling a knee injury. See, the Wolfpack has got them in the half-court set. They don't score a lot of points in the half-court set. They score a lot of points on the break and fast break points. That's an offensive foul. Jakia Brown-Turner takes the charge. Complimenting her seven points, four rebounds, two assists, two blocks. It's a lot of stat figure figure numbers. Here, here's the charge right here by Turner. And she's just, just waiting got for her feet outside the restricted arc. Might be the best skill of them all. <laughs> yeah, right. Jakia Brown Turner rocking number 13 in the back of her sneakers. And playing like lucky 13 tonight. Big presence in the starting lineup. See how the Wolfpack is being patient on offense, trying to find the right shot. Here's a shot with four. And an offensive rebound. Hayes blocked by Rivera. Kunain is stripped, but fouled. And this is Rivera adding up into foul trouble with three. Madison Hayes. Madison. Here's Aaliyah ball. Nelson, who injured her knee, went down awkwardly late in the first quarter. And Ernie, with her presence, if she can come back, what a huge boost for Towson. Yeah, she's on the bench right now. I don't think she's coming back in the game. All she did Friday was set a building record 39 points in the win over Florida. First Power 5 win in over a decade for Towson. That was a convincing wire-to-wire -wire victory. Yeah, they definitely kept the Gators at bay. Florida got a win earlier today over Wofford, so one and two in the tournament for the SEC foe. This is a battle for first place, if you will, if this pod of the tournament. Kansas State hosts the opposite pod in Manhattan, Kansas. That's a long two. And Evans comes up strong. Look at Kunain Dang running the break. point. Up to Blashfield. Hayes. Look at Madison Hayes on the offensive rebound. She's just the energizer for Mississippi State. Yes. She works hard on the offensive glass. That's her fifth rebound in only seven minutes. She brings a lot of energy to the game. Here's Kunain on the break. Looking like magic. Miss lay-in by Crutchfield. And the foul. Madison Hayes at the line. Worth noting, Towson is a team. As you see Aaliyah Nelson about to check in. They're 10th in the country in rebounding. This team is so good on the boards. Today, however, they're minus 10 in rebounding and have really struggled to grab the basketball. Yeah, they're playing against, again, one of the top rebounding teams in the country for the past three years. So they had a, they had a challenge. Another offensive board for NC State. That's seven of them. Perez kicks to Crutchfield, wanting to find Kunain. She's double teamed, so Hayes is open. And another offensive board. Perez's turn, and she knocks it in. Reina Perez letting it fly. Rivera does her best. They're not going to get in the game with shots like that. And State comes out with the rebound. The Wolfpack now 15 above in rebounds. Good pass. Her name puts it on. That was a great Rainer pass. Perez, Perez set that up for Kanane with the nice lay-in. 11 assists on 21 baskets for NC State. They enter this game 10th in the country in assists per contest. Everyone's chasing UConn as the best passing team in the country. Rivera needs no pass, throws an over-the-shoulder shot, and a loose ball comes out to Hayes. Lisa Kanane came and contested that. She had no, no way to the basket. Look at that mismatch for Kunain. Brown Turner needs no size advantage. There's a three. You, you can't leave Brown Turner that open in transition. Again, the smoothest left-hand jumper in women's college basketball right there. Diane Richardson wants a timeout as NC State starts the second half on 11-0 run. It's rain and threes for Reina Perez. Here's Reina Perez knocking it down. <laughs> There's Diamond. NC State rolling here in the third quarter.
both back. Diane Richardson's Townsend team here, and she, a passionate coach who reminded her team at the break, you belong here. This is the National Invitational Tournament, and you're here for a reason. She prides herself on being able to lead young women because of the coaches who she had teaching her growing up, causing her to leave a strong business career. Evan, you and Ernie know more about what she's done there. Someone who left the business world to go into coaching because the love for student athletes, it was something that drove her every single night. She couldn't go to bed without thinking of what these athletes mean building up from her career as a player. Yeah, yeah. And it's paying off now. Yeah, it's paying off now. I mean, the love of her players. She's a teacher. She wants to show them what's up. You know, she wants to show them what's, you know, how to uh, move forward in life. You know, it means a lot to her. That's the sixth NC State player to hit a three tonight. Reina Perez gets on N the board. Nelson is back in the game. Yeah, she just checked in before the last media timeout. Injured her knee in the first quarter. And you knew Aaliyah Nelson, who scored 39 on Friday in this building, would love to continue to battle it out for the Towson Tigers. Third-ranked team in the Colonial entering the season. With some potential. Dumping it downstairs. And a foul drawn on the drive. It's Fulmore attacking the basket. Yeah, Hobby using a little hand action. The keeper in front of her with the foul. When NC State makes five or more three-pointers, they were 16-2 and two last year. And early the three-point arsenal has picked up again seven threes tonight. <laughs> yeah, Diamond has about, what, three or four of those. And Perez is knocking them down. Nelson's turning for three. And you knew she would get involved. Leah Nelson, the star of this tournament, and she's limping. She, she's feeling it. But she got that shot up. First field goal for Nelson. Battling through a knee injury and foul trouble as well. It's something you want to see for Towson. The best player for the Tigers coming in and making a nice shot. All right, Wilson checks back in. Okay, Ernie, if you're Towson, clearly down 41, not going to come back in this game. What do you play for over the next 15 minutes? Uh, you just want to run your stuff. You, you know, you, you know, you want to run your offense. You know, you're down 40, but you want to. Well, down know, 43 now on yeah. another three-pointer. Reina Perez, again, she's a pro. Look at Nelson attack the basket. Second chance, and it's in. She has a lot of heart, and that's what she's playing with right now. This is what made this matchup so scintillating early the matchup of Nelson versus Kinane and with Nelson back in the lineup this game becomes a lot more interesting in the fourth quarter yes <laughs> I mean if she's oh here she goes they're not getting back into this game Nelson one on two pops a jumper okay. seven points back from injury yeah quick seven points and that knee is still giving Aaliyah trouble but she's she's fighting through it the bean the she's nickname been. from Diane Richardson she's playing like a woman on a mission she's a gamer they're going to need a lot more of that from her to get back into this one. Diamond Johnson's been putting on the display moves all day. And just rattled out of three. Both coach, coach didn't like that shot, though. Four of seven from deep in the second half. Nelson, the country's 10th leading scorer, kicks it outside. Now wants a deep three. Ooh. Kubek trying to save it, and it goes yeah. to Hayes. Oh. Off the head of Hobby. The lob, the low, no, laying no good. Oh, that's a tough miss for Kubek. You can tell NC State's size is getting in the head of Towson tonight. Hobby, meanwhile, no trouble. They're making it simple for Camille. Here she is on the defensive end. And Hobby with the steal. Hobby's pushing it. So a double dribble turns it over. Coach doesn't we'll, like to see that. We'll take the Get time it to out. the point guard. Welcome back to the ball game, Aaliyah Nelson. Nine points in the blink of an eye for Towson. Here she goes. Here she is on the on the runner. Nice pull up right here. Jumper by Nelson. NC State living on the three-point ball, plus five from deep with Shakia Brown-Turner and Reina Perez really heating up this offense. Yeah, Reina Perez has caught three-point fever in the second half. 
In fact, in this third quarter, NC State four of seven from three-point range. A club that last year led the ACC in three-point shooting. Now it's a three for Wilson. That's way off. Offensive rebound, Towson. Dodson floats it in. Yeah, nice offensive rebound by Dodson. Nari Dodson strong with that. gets Towson to 29 points. The starters for Towson have now outscored NC State's bench 29 to 27. However, the starters for the Wolfpack have taken over this game, especially in the first half. Largest lead of 44. Ooh. Look at Johnson. That's Ooh. pretty. That was sweet. Ten shy of her career high set back last year at Rutgers. 26. We asked her early, could she get to 26? Definitely a possibility. If she keeps hitting the three-pointer like that. She's going to get <laughs> 10 points real quick. Williams looks to the clock at 10. Chucks up with three herself. And the Towson three-point woes have continued three of 25. Meanwhile, Diamond Johnson, no trouble from deep. Here she goes on the crossover. Bang! What a token Diamond Johnson has become, the transfer from Rutgers in year one. Had 10 points yesterday, and now with 16 in this game, taking she's an elite a, step tonight. Yeah, she's a scorer. I mean, she's a great player. I mean, she's not just some sub coming off the, the bench. She, I mean, she averaged 17 points a game in the Big Ten. So she's, she can play. NC State has shot better than 45% in 12 of the last 15 quarters. They continue that hot shooting tonight. As an offensive rebound for James. James. And a jump ball. Evans and James tangle up. Possession stays here. James is really athletic. She has bounce for a young freshman. Zaya James from Virginia Beach, Virginia, to Princess Anne High School. 13 points in this tournament so far. A lot of second half minutes and two blowout victories, including a 33-point win over Florida yesterday. This what? is what I expected from NC State. All in this game. All it took was a slow first half against Wofford on Friday, only leading by five. And the Wolfpack have dominated since. There's a traveling on Diamond Johnson. Diamond has a little happy feet. I don't see the traveling, but <laughs> well, you were, you it's were, the head and shoulder fake that gets the reps. I, I'm, I'm telling you. You were a guard at NC State. You love to take that extra half step. Oh, yeah. Two and a half. <laughs> Good hesitation by Williams drawing the foul. It's an arm bar before the shot. Yeah, they used to get Jordan back in the day on that quick first step. Coach Dean Smith used to argue about that all the time with the refs. Like, he, he was so quick that, you know, he wasn't really taking three steps. You just, you know. She has a quick first step. And I think the refs ain't used to seeing that. Refs have had no trouble watching these teams go to work tonight. Ten combined three-pointers, and Williams can't get the bounce. There's Diamond with the rebound and the push. Watch Look Diamond that. Johnson head go. up. Oh. Kick out to Brown Turner. Flash. Eight three-pointers for NC State. You can't let her line it up because it's going down. Shakir Shakir Brown Turner. Last season, 38% from three-point range. Off to a nice start this year at over 50%. It is just four games in, but a good sign. The Wolfpack are hitting their threes as Wilson clangs one off the backboard. Johnson, the distributor. There's your three-point shooter. And a rare miss for NC State with a foul on Wilson trying to box out Isaiah James. Isaiah James is on the offensive boards. She's a good-looking young player. Coach is trying to get all his young players in because when these guys leave, he says, these are, this is the future. He refers to Isaiah the... Isaiah James and Genesis Bryant. Referring to the three seniors that elected to return for this final season. On a roster that kind of slots out more upperclassmen heavy. Eight upperclassmen. And Jakia Brown-Turner gets a round of applause to the bench. Every Saturday, the huddle with Jordan Cornett, Eric McLean, E.J. Manuel, and Mark Rick get you ready for ACC football. They'll preview the slate of games and keep you updated on all things ACC, 10 a.m. Eastern on ACC Network in the ESPN app.
James misses both from the charity stripe. One of the rare areas the Wolfpack have missed shots. Towson, meanwhile, shooting it at just 20%, and Williams throws up a prayer. How valuable are these next 11 minutes for this young NC State lineup? Very valuable, because they all playing for As playing James time. Gets on the board for the first time. There's the future right there, James. You got Timmons out there. This freshman class, it's been a challenge for Westmore, balancing the senior heavy lineup and the freshman in reserves. But tonight, a chance to get extended minutes. And Gary takes an extra step for the travel. Everybody's traveling in this game today. That is a point of emphasis in women's college basketball <laughs> yes, this year. Yes, Referees are really keeping an eye on traveling violations. The Towson Tigers looking to bounce back after a 3-0 start, a loss tonight for sure. They look to dethrone Drexel, the reigning tournament champions, and the preseason favorites along with Delaware. Of course, Ella Della Don, so dominant in her days up north. Yes. WNBA player on this Towson club as well. Kiana Jeter drafted by the Las Good Vegas Aces this year. And Hobby lays it in. You see James take an extra bounce to get that wraparound pass to Camille Hobby for the lay-in. That breaks a 9-0 NC State run, makes it 11 straight. And Nelson at the gun. That's a nice floater. Nelson in the double figures, playing through a knee injury. However, no answer for NC State. No, that was a strong drive to the basket by Nelson. 28-point quarter for the Wolfpack, led by the three-point game. Five triples in the third. Here's James on a nice lay-in. Jakia Brown-Turner knocking it down. A young and talented NC State team that returns 94% of its scoring. You'll see plenty of freshmen and transfers the rest of the way, Ernie, featuring a top 12 recruiting class. Oh, man, they, they're, they are loaded. And the only problem they're going to have is finding time for all these players. That's going to be Coach's challenge moving forward. You see Sophie Hart checking in as well, the freshman center. How does Westmore evaluate these next 10 minutes in terms of getting minutes for his players down the road? Well, I mean, this quarter is, is going to be like kind of garbage time, but he's, he still wants the game played correctly. Coach Moore style basketball. First look at Genesis Bryant, who finds the shooter in Timmons. Good rebound Hayes and a block Rivera. Bryant's turn. And she knocks down the jumper, joining the scoring party. That's 11 players to score tonight. Genesis Bryant is a good ball player coming off the bench. She's one of the top high school players in the country. Coming out in her, her class. Six underclassmen for Westmore. You'll see plenty of them in this fourth quarter as Kubek off on the three. Oh, six shooting for the all-CAA member last year. Nice pass That's from Hayes. And Bryant can't make it pay off. Big rebound, Anissa Rivera. Towson loves to run. This is their strength in transition. 26 transition points per game. Such a dangerous team when they get on the run. And Quebec gets on the board. Yeah, Quebec. Nice jump hook in the lane. Ernie, what has NC State done to limit the transition ability of the Towson Tigers? They've just been getting back on defense. You know, stopping them on the fast break. Just getting back and establishing... Uh, position. That 33 points for Towson. Making them play the half-court game. A season low, averaging 85 a game entering this one. Hayes, good slip down to Hart. Late in the clock. Hart! Hart those points. Nice jump. Hook by Hart. Good pass. In the lane. That's her first basket. 10 of the 12 players entering tonight for Westmore have scored. Dominant. End of the WNIT as Quebec with the foul. That's a great spin move. Yeah, that was a nice drop step spin move. Little lean, little work of the window. Oh, yeah, she's, she's uh, kind of schooling hard right now in the post play. Alec Quebec, the first freshman to start every regular season game last year since 2006. She completes the three point play.
NC State with the loss last Tuesday to South Carolina. They have dominated the last three opponents if you count tonight. What a response from West Moore's club. As James knocks in the corner three. James is a good looking freshman. Also helps when you hit nine three pointers in a contest. <laughs> yeah. Nelson. Nelson. Gets into double figures and then some. He ever 13. She has a great go to the whole game. And Ernie, this is what we hope to have seen from Aaliyah Nelson. Got injured at the final yeah. minute of the first quarter. Her game is fantastic when she's healthy. When she's healthy, yes, she is. She's a great offensive ball player. Jen Bryant blocked by Kubek. Nice steal. Nelson tips Nelson it away. Playing some good defense. Towson can run. Last year, top 10 in the country in scoring. Struggled to end the year in terms of record at 13 and 9, but a very offensive mind to club. Rivera goes to her left. That's her offhand, and it floats in. Now, they're playing well against the reserves, <laughs> against the freshmen out here and sophomores. Nonetheless, though, Westmore's going to watch this tape. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, without question. He's going to find. That's not her shot. Hayes with an air ball on the three. Barely touched anything. Outlet. Rivera intercepted. Stays here. She shot that air ball, but she got back on defense and disrupted that play. Otherwise, a Madison layup. Hayes plays hard, but that three-point shot is not her game. That's exactly what Wes Moore is explaining to her. <laughs> Three minutes into this final quarter, Rivera gets an extra step. Offensive rebound, Kubek, and there's seven points in the quarter. Yeah, Kubek. Kubek, the all-CAA freshman team member last year. Timmons attacks, wanting to join the scoring party. She'd be the 11th Wolfpack player to score. Nelson's had no trouble scoring herself. There's Rivera. Not a bad look either. Just could not hit. Rebound Gary. Nelson, deep three. It's a tough shot. A Even shot for Nelson. Diane Richardson will deal with. She loves the scoring ability. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Somehow finds Hart. Who Pass kicks out. it to Timmons. Back down to Hayes. NC State dishing and diamond the ball all <laughs> over the court. Yeah, great in, great passing and the way they're looking for their players. Check out this save from James with a nice dish. Keeping her head up. Good looking freshman. Isaiah James set her career high in her debut. Nine points against Wofford. Part of that top 15 recruiting class. And Westmore mentioning that this team will become more of hers and many others who are young, especially next year. Madison Hayes is not a great free throw shooter. We'll have a college basketball quadruple header for you Friday with women's games at 2 and 4. And Towson at Pitt at 6, but we're featuring the finale with Coach K at number 9, Duke hosting Lafayette at Cameron Indoor. Freshman phenom Paolo Bonchero has lived up to the hype so far for the Blue Devils. You can watch the game on ACC Network in the ESPN. Good game on Saturday, by the way. Duke and Campbell, a couple of Carolina squads. It was a single digit game until the final minute. Yeah. Coach K, 1,100 career victories in that one. Meanwhile, Westmore earned win number 750 yesterday. We'll have 751 in about five minutes. Gary splits Look the double, the gets to the rack, and banks it in. She's very athletic. Nice drop to the basket. For Gary. Terriana Gary, 12 point a game scorer. Tonight, however, just her first bucket. It's been a story for a lot of Towson shooting. 39% in this half, but really struggling in the first. Nelson playing through a knee injury, hanging tough in the second half. But can't stop Tennessee. Jen Bryant. Nice scoop. Layup to the basket. Genesis Bryant on a nice drive by. Ten different players have scored for Towson. For NC State, I should say. There's Madison Hayes. That's her game, the hustle game. 12th turnover forced by the Wolfpack. Leads to a free throws for Madison Hayes. And we've seen NC State <laughs> run in transition in this fourth quarter. When we come back, the final four and a half minutes. Please stick with this. Plenty of new freshmen introduce you to for NC State as they lead, doubling up the Towson Titans.
The Towson Tigers waiting for a big key cog to return. The JMU transfer, Rain Tucker, two-time all-conference. She's expected to be back from an ACL injury next Tuesday. And what a dynamic piece for Towson. Yeah, she's going to be a great addition uh, when she gets back next week. Uh, great player, very athletic. I know she's looking at this game wishing she could be in there right now and helping her team. Diane Richardson mentioning with Tucker out, kind of has that Kawhi Leonard type ability for her team, can do many different things on the court. You combine that with Nelson and then Rivera. It's a dangerous team in yeah, the CAA. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're going to get a, they're going to be a tough out in that conference. However, NC State's had no trouble with Towson tonight. Diane Richardson in year five, leading a squad off to their best start in five years as they'll head back home to take on Millersville and Howard next week. NC State stays home as well, facing Kansas State in the finale of the women's NIT this Friday. That before heading to the Bahamas, which I need to get on that flight if I can. <laughs> you and me both. I don't know how much pull I have with Westmore <laughs> these days, nonetheless. Good kick out by Nelson, and Napoleon comes up short. Jen Bryan on the push. NC State last scored 100 points November 29th of last season in a win over NC Central. They'd love to clip that mark here tonight. Have a chance with four minutes to play. James wants to help the cause. Rebound Hart and 91. Hart! Showing a lot of heart out here. How about the reaction from Kunane that time, cheering on her freshman side? Oh, yeah. She has to guard Kunane in practice <laughs> every day, and that's a tough, that's a tough challenge. Kunane, she's learning. She's learning a lot. From double double yesterday in limited minutes. But Kunane, nonetheless, effective 15 and 4 for the All American candidate. And that's the, that's, that's the Wolfpack. That's how they are in practice. They cheer one another on, and that's, that's, that's what makes a great team. Nobody on this team is jealous. You know, they, 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 they really enjoy each other. I've been to a lot of practices. And you still can't get a trip to the Bahamas out of it. Here's a long <laughs> two. And a I don't know, man. I, I might be able to. <laughs> I might be able to get that done. <laughs> Sophie Hart getting position in the post. Oh, good pass. And finishing it off. Sophie Definitely. Hart. 11 NC State players have scored tonight. This is a 7-0 run. Sophie's saying, hey, I want that spot when Kunane leaves. That's the big question. Three seniors, Kunane eligible for the draft as well. Could return if she wants. And out of the free throw line goes Quinzia Fulmore. Here's Sophie on the post up with the sweet pass to Timmons. I think all of NC State players have scored. All but one. J K Kayla Jones has not scored tonight. Ironically, she was the breakout scorer against Wofford, 15 points on Friday. I think Coach is saving her, saving her legs for the next game. She's a starter. She's a star. There's Kayla Jones enjoying the scene as her teammates have combined for 93 points. I tell you this, last year, if Kayla Jones didn't get hurt, they would have made it to the Final Four. Some... Some WNBA team is going to luck, be lucky to have her load management in the organization. Always important, especially early in the season with a near 50 point lead. Wilson off the pick, and the true freshman reigns it down in their debut. Seven points for the freshman. Hart lobs it in. Oh. Oh, a bit strong. Westmore pointing to his head. He likes the idea. Yeah, he likes the idea. That's a good look. And we, we obviously, she got obviously passed because we just saw her throw a nice dish. 13 turnovers first NC State tonight. Is that worrisome at all if you're Westmore? Not in a game like this. Nelson around the screen. Great step back dribble and pops the J. Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Nelson playing through injury, giving her squad 15 points. Tough shot. James with a great floater. Coach didn't like that shot. It went down. It's one of those, oh, okay, she knocked it down. The race to 100 is on here with two minutes to play. Coach is trying to teach James to take the shot that is given to you. Towson draws a foul on the drive in. That's Hobby committing the harm. And now the fifth foul for NC State. Or fourth foul, I should say. 
Javi's had some nice minutes tonight. Yeah. Double figures for the second time in her career. Javi, it can start for a lot of teams the in the ACC. The bench has dominated 50 bench points for NC State. Keep in mind, 48 total points for Towson. See, the defensive intensity stays the same. Leaves Nelson open for three, and she cannot hit. Look at Nelson sprinting for the rebound and runs out of space. As Towson now 3 of 31 from downtown. <laughs> That's a hard number regardless of who you play. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Remember, Towson entered this game making nine threes a contest. Hit ten threes against Florida on Friday. One of the hottest scoring teams in the country, but no answer for NC State. NC State is one of the top defensive teams in the country. And this is their home court. I know Towson has played some tough teams. James. James. Nearly a beautiful finish. <laughs> Coach doesn't like that move, James. And Nelson. James Nelson. likes to go. She's like, she likes to go one-on-one. -on -one. And, and that's not Coach Moore's style of basketball. Westmore always coaching even into the final minute of this fourth quarter. I mean, she's talented, and she's going to make a lot of those shots. But Coach likes it in the floor of the offense. 11 of 12 players have scored tonight for NC State, searching for 100 in home game number four for the Wolfpack. Williams lost it. James puts it home. 97. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna hit the hundred mark in this game. 48 seconds left. In a game where the Wolfpack have shot at 56 percent. It depends on this possession, how much time runs off the clock. That's a quick shot for Williams and a nice finish. Towson up to 50. Williams has seven herself. Let's see what Westmore decides. He's gonna hold the horses here and dribble out the clock. The bench wants it. Can they get to 97 to 100? Here's your chance. Timmons for three. 100. Timmons with the corner jumper to hit the century mark. From zero to 100 in 59 minutes and 50 seconds. See, I told you I thought they were going to hit that. I thought they were going to hit it. Nelson on these, the drive. These freshmen can score. NC State, a dominant 40 minutes of basketball tonight hitting their 10th three of the game. Great shooting display by the Wolfpack. You sort of knew a three-pointer was coming there and <laughs> yeah, knocked yeah, it in. Yeah. She's one of the top scorers, well, the top scorer in women's basketball, high school basketball in the state of North Carolina. Scored over 2,000 points. Triple digits, not very common. It's been since November 29th of 2019. The Wolfpack have reached 100. And they do so on a perfect 100. They're not going to shoot this, Coach Sitz. Just dribble it out. NC State stormed out to a 21-point first quarter lead and take control here in the first weekend of the preseason WNIT. Three straight wins for Wolfpack West's club as the Wolfpack dominate 11 on the scoreboard and a convincing win over town. Yeah, I think we're going to interview uh, Diamond Johnson. What a performance by Diamond today, Ernie. Not only the scoring, but the assist making. Kunain was the rebounds. Impressive. She just was all over the place. 16 points for Johnson, her new NC State high. How did she take control of this game in that first half? Man, she just played her game. She was in her groove. She was in her bag. And she just took over and led the Wolfpack to a 48-point uh, win in Reynolds Coliseum. Johnson scored 16 of 55 bench points Are we gonna for NC State tonight. There she is, Diamond, shining bright. Taking their pictures with a photographer, having a good old time. Ernie, this was a 3-0 weekend for NC State here in the WNIT. Look what at them. They, what did they show you in this weekend's performance? They showed me that coach said he was going to fix some things after the uh, South Carolina game. And I think he uh, I think he did fix some things.